Hey, how are you YouTube people? Here we are coming at you from Dowie Farm with the grill. Now we're at three years on this char charbroil. I did a video two, almost three years ago, and I just want to kind of show you. It's dark out, but we have got very little problems. Let me get this light to <clears throat> show you. We've got basically no real anything going on, and I don't even protect this thing. Like, it's just out. I have this canopy that died the first year I had it. But even up in here, you can see, that's not rust, that's grease. But there's nothing going on on the bottom. Up in there, it's good, right? Nothing really there. And if I were to pull this apart and show you, which I did, I don't know, maybe a month ago, <coughs> you would see that down inside here, like this is dirty right now. You see the caverns? So what happens is the caverns fill with oil and it runs down to the ends and there's little holes in the ends and then it drops down through and that's how this thing works. But the one thing I've figured out is that the enemy of a grill is not being used often enough and having moisture build up underneath because obviously grease floats on water right you get a layer of grease on the bottom of your grill and you get water underneath that grease and oil on top and it gets trapped and it eats your grill with salt and grease and water right this thing only allows a certain amount of grease down through at a time and it burns it all off so if i were to pull this apart right now and show you which i actually can kind of do and this thing i'm cooking thighs and it will not flare up for the record so let's do this. Ready? Check it out. Also, by the way, outdoor sink. Best thing I ever did. So this is pretty dirty right now. I let it get dirty. I have not been keeping up. <laughs> and that's a testament to it, too. I mean, I do neglect it occasionally. And it's fine. There we go. And that stuff will break right off. Look how clean that is. It's crazy. Let me get this over here. A little light for you. Look at how nuts, how clean, no rust. It's nuts. I mean, it's just like the best grill. It's still got the paint, you know, a little bit of red over there, but I don't even think that's rust. And the burners look good, and the baffles there look good. The grates look good. Everything looks good. I don't really have any anything going on in there, and it's three years old. How many other grills would have been dead by now? Totally rusted out. But it's because of the, li the, the there's no grease buildup either, as you notice. I use this grill all the time. And it only allows enough grease down to burn. And that's the key. Keeping the grease in the water out, or the grease from underneath the water out, and then using your grill often enough to burn that water off. And, uh, and then not having it pooling up at the bottom. And that's all just about design. I love this grill from Charbroil. I hope they never change the design on me. It does look like I need to do a little work on that burner but that's fine three years man good stuff and that's my follow-up on the charbroil commercial infrared four burner with the side and uh i'm just crossing my fingers man and i'm hoping they don't ruin it because if i need to buy another one i'm gonna get the same thing